Okay, let's just take here. Okay, we did it. I feel pretty good. I feel like we just like beat like someone really good at chess or something. <laughs> and there's only puzzle number 45, guys. Jesus. Okay, we can take here. Maybe take the take the rook with the queen. We get we get like two rooks for the queen. I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe take here they're forced to go here in fact. So I was thinking initially they'll do this and then you can take the take this and then you know we can we can get two rooks for it. But then I realized we can maybe just take this. To be careful about getting back right made it. Okay, so let's suppose if we if we take this and they go queen here and we go queen check and then they move the king that we can take this. Because if we take, we can go check here. And if they go, if they go this way, we take anyway. And if, if rook takes, it's a queen f6 check. Queen f6, rook e7. And then if if rook if queen f8 can d7. So so queen f6, rook e7, and then. Rook G8 check, King to D7. I don't see a win. No, I don't see a win. So let's just try again. So must maybe somewhere it must be wrong. Somewhere it must not be right. So maybe I just take. I'm sorry. Maybe I just check first and then take this. Is this is what we're meant to do. Check first, and if King here, we have like Rook D4 mate. So uh, queen, ch queen, uh, queen check, uh, king, king, king b8, and then rook g4. Then we just we just go guns blazing, shooting down everything here. I think that sounds pretty good. Let's just do it. It must be right. Okay. Right. So you see, why why do they have to do this to us? Why can't they just give us the dub, guys? So now if I take the rook, this like uh, queen queen d1 would be. Uh, Queen D1 would be uh, would be losing, so I think I take this way, and if Queen takes, we take this Rook, and then we have we're threatening to go Mate. They have to move the Queen, then we go Queen G8. If we take, and then they take with the Rook, we take with our Rook, and then we win. Okay, let's just do it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what are we doing now? So we have a Queen and a Queen and a Rook against Queen and Bishop. There are no checks available because they'll just take us. So therefore, it's not rook b2 check. It might be queen e2 check though, because uh, this is a candidate move. Okay, so let's find out. So we're, we're doing 2500 puzzles now. We've just finished one that's 2516. So uh, let's just think of our candidate moves. We're gonna do this slowly. Okay, uh, my, my high score for, for, for survival mode is 53. So uh, I've, I had a couple of attempts. So, uh, so yeah, a couple of attempts and uh, my my best score is 53, which is not even high, but uh, yeah. So we're currently solving a 2500 uh, puzzle, uh, and we have to slow down for these ones. So I, I feel like this is a very strong candidate move because because after rook g7, we're threatening to go queen g2 if the bishop moves, and it also forces our opponent to go queen d6 to to cover the bishop. So this this seems very good. Queen, queen to e2 is also a very strong candidate move because after, for instance, if, if king to g1, we have the back rank checkmate. So therefore, moves like uh, moves like rook g7, queen e2 check, both are candidate moves, and we must consider these moves. Okay, what, what other things do we have to think about? We don't think of moves like this because it leaves our king exposed on, on, the, uh, on the seventh rank and opponent has good chances to make a draw. So therefore, moves like queen rook to b3 will be discarded from the uh, Discarded from our options. So thinking about this now, I think Queen Two seems very good because if the King comes here, we can chase the King. He, he gets outside of his home, and then we can we can surround him with everything. So Queen Two looks really good. The only problem with Queen Two is up on his Queen F Two, in which case we don't have a reasonable response. Um, and uh, there's also Bishop. I guess Bishop F Two we could do some. If we go here and we go Bishop F Two, we could probably just gang up on it. And I think that's pretty good. There's, there are no checks with the, the queen that they can do. So, um, so queen e2, bishop f2 would be pretty good for us. But if queen e2, queen f2, 
what do we do at this point? So then we could try, for instance, we could take the queen and then go rook c2. Then bishop takes, oh, sorry, uh, take the queen rook, uh, rook c2, king g2. Doesn't seem quite right. Okay, so let's just think again. Let's just slow down and calm down. I'm getting a little bit excited here. All right. What about a, a very casual move like rook g7? And the reasoning is that we're threatening rook g2. So rook g7, and then maybe queen e5. And we, there are no ways to continue. Yeah, so that, that can't be right. Doesn't seem right. You can't go queen f1 or queen e2. Okay, so our candidate moves, candidate moves are queen e2, rook g7, and rook e7 perhaps? Rook e7 with the idea of coming down here. I'm still not getting it guys, I'm still not getting it. I'm still not, still not understanding it. So again, this, you know, if rook b2 was possible, this would be so convenient. This would be so convenient. Probably just missing something very simple here. It's just kind of stupid. Rook e7, rook e7, and then not, they can't go bishop to e5 because of uh, queen e2 check. I, I think rook e7 is really good. I don't see a, a, I don't see a way for white to continue. Um, I guess king h3. King h3, you get, you get driven out of your house. You know. If, if if rook e7 queen h3 for instance you get you get um, absolutely chased around then so i don't think that's possible i think it must it might be rook e7 here there's no other move rook g7 queen e5 yeah it's not rook g7 it's not queen e2 because of uh, of queen f2 so it has to be rook g7. Uh, so we're thinking rook g7, queen e5. And if, if rook, if queen e2, instead of, instead of rook g7, queen e2, queen f2, then there's no way in. So therefore it has to be rook e7 with the idea of rook e2. We have to try and bring our, our rook in through the white squares and use the white tiles to check my opponent's king. All right, let's just try it. I don't know if I'm right, but... Okay, opponent plays the worst move you know, ever, ever created by man. So, uh, let's just go rook e2. And okay, so is this tricking us or do we just take the queen? So, you always stop at this point. You always stop. If you've done a lot of these puzzles, you know what I mean. There, sometimes it's a better move. So, there's no rook g1 or queen g2. I think we just take the queen in this, in this case. Alright, let's do this one. So, the king is surrounded. We, our, our job is to hunt down the king before they kill us, of course. What's the time? It's a little bit, it's 11.38. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple more and then uh, maybe I'll finish this off. Uh, you like you like my rookie seven idea? Thanks, uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for your compliment. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's another, another, another monkey, another idea from the monkey brain, you know what I mean? Um, all right. So, I think it's knight g4, is it? So, in this, in this question, basically, our main problem is our king is getting completely surrounded and, uh, well, it's no use the word dumpstered, you know, gets completely, like, destroyed. Um, so, if, you know, if we don't checkmate him, then he's going to checkmate us. So, uh, we have to look for very forcing moves. So, I think a move like d5 might be a little bit too slow in this, in this case. Um, and to prove it, I think maybe maybe queen g8 and queen d5 would be sufficient. Uh, so it has to be something like knight g4. Is 
there's like no other move. So it might be Queen G5, but if Queen G5, I think they'll just take out Knight. Right, so if we, if we go check, you just take out Knight. So it, it, it can't be it can't be that. Now, the, the, the question here is, can we take the Rook? This is the first thing that we should have, should have calculated was taking the Rook. But um, if we take the Rook, then Queen to G8. And now King gets like surrounded, right? I think it's surrounded, but do we die? Do we, as a result, do we lose the game? I think we do. Okay, and here's the reason. So I think I think our opponent goes queen here, and then they take here. I'm saying so we take this uh, queen check, king here, take with the knight, king here, and then queen d5 would be made. So therefore, taking the rook seems very risky. But I think, um, but we have to also consider if we take the rook and queen check, do we have queen f8, for instance? This is a possibility because if we can, if we can, you know, hit and run, right? If we grab this rook and we survive, we could win the game. Actually, well, we're already down the whole, whole rook, actually. So this gives us a hint that it's probably not. We probably don't take the rook. We probably don't take the rook. Okay. So then, then, it, then it's very clear. It's either knight g4, and there's no other. We don't have a black square bishop, so we can't give a check with black square bishop. Right? We can give a check with the queen, but I think that's just, uh, that's just stupid. So there's, there's no way. It has to be knight g4. Okay. Now we're not going to make the move yet because we're not sure. Because our opponent has two way, three ways to, to run the, with, the, uh, with the king. So um, the first question would be, what if they go king e4? Well, king e4 doesn't look very good for them because if they were to go this way, then we can we can just go here and the king has has to come towards outside and maybe I can see a checkmate, huh? So it's checkmate. It's not checkmate, but we can win the queen at least. And Maybe there's even, even something better. So knight g4 seems very logical and seems like the best move in this position. Um, so because it came here, then we can check and they're forced to come this way. Now the problem is that after knight g4, our opponent also has the option of moving the king back. And I think this is really the critical move. So king e2 is a critical move because when the king is on, e, on e2, it has two options. It can go to d1 or d3. So if we were to give a check, for instance, they can go this way or that way. Now, of course, if knight check, king here, uh, king here queen check, king, f, uh, king to d1, queen f3, this will win the rook, and this, this is probably winning. So therefore, we can stop calculating that one. So we can think, let's say, knight g4 uh, and king here is, uh, sorry, knight g4, king e2, queen f2, king d3. And our, our question here is, is there a much stronger way of continuing? Is there knight b4? Knight b4, maybe king e c3, and if we check, he'll just take this, so it's, uh, so that doesn't seem very good. So once again, let's just reiterate our calculation. So if knight g4 check, king here, another question would be, is there a move like knight d4? I think this might be the critical move. And if king d3, then queen f3 would be mate, right? Queen f3 would be mate, and then the king would, wouldn't have anywhere to go. So I think knight g4, and then if, if king to e4, we go queen f5, and we prove that's winning, um, and if, if knight g4, king e2, then we go knight d4 check, king d3, queen f3 would be made. So therefore knight g4 check, king to e2, uh, queen to, uh, uh, sorry, not queen f2, knight d4, and if, if the king moves anywhere on the back rank, queen f2, queen f3 would be uh, sufficient. Okay, so therefore, therefore knight g4, and our opponent has to play a move like, let's say king, king d3. But if king d3, queen f3 will be made. So I think we're right. So let's just double check this one more time. So if knight g4, king e2, knight d4, our opponent has to, if he moves to the back, we have queen f2 and queen f3. If he comes up, uh, if he comes out this way, if he comes out to the jungle, then uh, we can surround him. Okay, let's just do it. So it's knight g4, check again, checkmate, right? Check, check, take this. Check. Just hoping I'm not missing anything. Sometimes it's like made them once, and then we, we lose like we lose a lot of points. You know what I mean? Okay. Um. And uh, do we take the rook? I think we do. If we, if we check here. If he goes this way, we have mate. Okay, we did it. All right, we're doing puzzle number forty-nine. We'll just do up to fifty today, and then we'll continue with this maybe a little bit of this tomorrow. So. Uh, Okay, we're doing puzzle uh, puzzle number 49. We've just completed the one that's 2,633 uh, rating. We're going to try and do this one. So I think in this in this puzzle, our theme is to, our main theme is to promote 
and to stop our opponent from promoting. So we're going to do what we call uh, just counting the steps. So one, two, okay. And I think we've already lost. Three, and then they'll, they'll make the four, and then they can, they can promote with a mate. So let's just try again. One, two, three, and then pawn to h3. And then if we were to, if we were to promote, They'll, they'll pro will promote first, but then they'll promote for mate. So therefore, therefore such move like b4, b4, b5 must be incorrect because uh, if we go b4, our opponent is a, is a step ahead of us because they simply ignore the threat of us capturing this pawn. And in return, he's going to be able to promote faster than us. So therefore, after b4, king takes, we have to play what we call, uh, you know, we have to play defensively. We have to try and stop them from promoting first. So we're going to go b4. King h3, and we're gonna we're gonna play this in game defensively. And most in games you should be playing defensively anyway. Um, and then we're, we're thinking that if king here we're, we're gonna defend, and if h3, if h3 we can go b4, h2, king h1, king f2, then we're gonna promote. We're gonna continue here. He's gonna take this. Then we're gonna promote before him. He can take this and promote. He moves his king out. We'll, we'll take. Uh, we'll promote. Sorry. Uh, so how do we do it again? So here, here, and then here, 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 and then here, 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 here. Am I one step away? And then if we were to take... Oh, oh god, I think we're one, one, one step slow. Okay, let me just, uh, again, my, 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 mon my monkey brain is acting up again. Okay, so b4, king h3, king f1, I have to concentrate, okay, b4, king h3, king f1, king g3, king g1, pawn to h3, let's not move our king, don't move our king, go b5, h2, king h1, king f2, a6, king e2, Pawn takes pawn, move the king, I promote first. Okay, so the key here is we don't move our king all the way here. So uh, so once again, let's try that again. b4, king g3, king f1, king h3, king g1, king g3, pawn to, g, uh, pawn to b5, h3, king h1, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, h3, do not play king h1, but play b5, h2, king h1, king f2, Move the pawn, king takes e2, I take your pawn, you move your king, I promote first, and I give you checks anywhere I want. Okay, let's just do it. Move the king over, king h2. I think that's this is a blunder, right? Oh no, our opponent's trying to make a stalemate. So our opponent is trying to go king h1, h3, and the h2 to make a stalemate. So in which case, we must promote with a check somehow. Or we, we, must, we must promote like this pawn, right, for instance. Okay, let's just calculate. So if we go b5, we're assuming they go, we're assuming they go king h1. Okay, b5, king h1, a6, h3, uh, a7, h2. We make the queen, and it, he cannot, uh, he cannot move the h pawn because it's uh, it's pinned to his king, right? So uh, if you see what I'm talking about, so this is very tricky. So once again, b5, king h1, and then what if we go? No, no. Okay. What about so b5, king h1, a6. So b5, king h1, a6, h3. What if we make a rook? If we were to make a rook, can we go checkmate? Can we go rook a1 or rook h1? Uh, rook, a, rook h8. Or do we make a bishop? Okay, so we're definitely, we're probably definitely moving the b-pawn. So b5, king h1, do we go b6 first? b6, h3, a7, h2, then we lose. Okay, so I think this might be an under-promotion, right? Far out. Why is this so hard, guys? It's not supposed to be this hard. Um, B5, King H1, A6, 
h3, a7, h2, make a rook, b6, and then, oh, I think I get it. Right, do you guys see this idea? I saw the most incredible idea. I'll see if the track gets it. See if the track gets it. Say it's knight g4 does for the previous one. Huh? Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you guys get this one? I see a, the most fantastic idea. The, the match of the century. The, uh, the idea of the century, not the match of century. Yeah. Remind me of Fisher. So what we do here, guys, we make a rook. Then we sack the rook. We sack the rook here. And then we make a queen and then we mate him. Now the, the only question is, are we quick enough? So um, are we quick enough? So let's just calculate again. B5, King H1, A6, H3. What if, what if after A6 they take us? It's another good question. I think if A6 they take us, we just make a queen. We just go B6, B7, B8. Okay. So we go B5, King H1, A6, and then H3, A7, H2, A8 equal to Rook. And then b6, rook a5, pawn takes, b6, a4, b7, a3, b8, a2, and then queen a, queen to b7, mate. I think that's right. Okay, let's just do it. So here. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, now if we take this, we uh, lose the game. Oh, well, it's a draw. So we have to move the rook, uh, move the, the pawn up. We have to make a rook. Okay, and we sack the rook to give them the rook. And then we have to make the queen and then promote and then attack on the on the white squares. Okay, so good. All right, so we, we solved that. So let's just do puzzle number fifty, and then I'm gonna get out of here. So uh, it's been it's like over an hour already. Okay, now this is a very interesting one because um, right off the bat we see bishop f5 is discovered discovered attack. So if you see this, if if bishop f5, we're attacking both the queen and the rook at the same time. The only problem with this move is maybe for some reason they have a move like this. For for some reason, for some, some crazy reason. But I think maybe I'm just crazy. You know, maybe I'm just crazy because we have we have this. But I'm not really sure. So let's just think about it. So if bishop f5 Knight f, uh, knight f7, and we can take the queen, and they don't have a check because my rook is covering it. So therefore, if bishop f5, assuming that my monkey brain is correct, they're gonna they're gonna have to uh, move the queen. Oh well, then we take this. So assuming I'm correct, they'll have to take this, and then, and then if I take this, uh, I'm assuming that they'll have to take this. And if I take, they'll take this way. And can I trap his knight somehow? No, I can't. Then I'll be a pawn down. Something like that. Uh, I don't think I'm a pawn down, actually. Uh, maybe bishop... Is it bishop e7? Bishop e7, knight c7. So yeah, no, it's just... Um, my brain's not working. Okay, so let's just try again. So bishop f5, knight f7. And uh, if I take this, then, then they'll they'll take my queen, and if I take their queen, they'll take my rook, and then therefore I win nothing, and therefore I'll, I'll be a complete idiot if I were to, to do that. Okay, so it's, it's, uh, I'm thinking it might not be, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that it's, uh, that it's bishop to, uh, I'm not convinced that it's bishop to f5, because knight f7 looks really, really strong. Okay, but what if, What if it's bishop, what about bishop to a6? What about a move like this? So what's the main difference anyway? So if bishop a6, they cannot take this because we will take them. So after bishop a6, it's the same same problem. Knight takes um, f7. And then this time we can take this and if they take this, we can go for check. And if they go queen here, we can mate them because we have a bishop on this line. Oh my God, this big brain. Okay. Now, before we praise ourselves, because our brain is, we're still a monkey brain, if you know what I mean. Before we praise ourselves, we've got to think about whether this is true. If it seems too good to be true, then it's probably not. So, bishop a6, what if our opponent plays a move like queen to f3? And then, if, if we take the rook, they will they take on f7, and they would 
absolutely get uh, bamboozled, if you know what I mean. We'll just get uh, destroyed. Because knight g6. So if bishop a6, we're assuming that our opponent will play queen f3. I don't see any way of responding to that. So um, I guess we could play f6, but then they'll take our rook. Yeah. So, so therefore, bishop a6 seems too good to be true, and it just it just can't be true because queen f3, and there there's no there's no solution. Okay. So therefore, it's not bishop a6. Then it's a bishop f5. So I think I think the the, the the focus of the puzzle is for us to calculate bishop f5 to its full completion. So um, so after bishop f5, knight takes f7. Do we take the queen? And then if knight takes d6, what is the uh, what is the secret? What is the key move here? If bishop takes d6, rook takes b8. Bishop takes b8, pawn takes d3. We will have no way forward on the on the queen side. They have three pawns against three. They have a bishop. Uh, we, they have a knight. We have a bishop. But uh, because the fighting is happening on one side of the board, we're, uh, we're, we're like going to be slightly disadvantageous, uh, disadvantageous because knight a5, knight c6, or even knight c5. Um, so that's the problem. Our pawn sucks. Our pawn structure sucks on the queen side. Therefore, we're not winning. So therefore, we, we can say that maybe bishop f5 isn't the, the, the best move here, but we have to calculate a little bit more. So what about... What about... Uh, what about bishop f5, knight f7, and then something like queen to uh, queen f6? What about this? What about this? So bishop here, knight takes, and then something like queen here. Okay, and my point is that both the queen and the rook will be under attack, and so is the, uh, so is the knight. But then queen e2. So bishop f5, knight, knight, uh, if bishop f5, knight f7, queen f6, queen e2, and it seems to me that there is no, uh, there is no follow up. Shoot. Okay, let's just uh, think logically. Just think logically. So, is there a way we can try and back rank mate our opponent? Uh, doesn't seem like it. So bishop f five, knight f seven, rook e eight. Bishop f5, knight f7, rook e8, knight d6, rook e1 check. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Bishop f5, knight f7, rook e8, knight d6, rook check, take the queen, and then take the knight. You know, isn't that, isn't that right? I think I solved it, but I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Let's let's think about it. So once again, bishop f5, and then knight f7 must be the key move because otherwise they lose the whole rook. And then rook takes rook takes e8, and I'm assuming they'll take my queen because what else do they do? Then I go rook check. I take the queen. I take the knight on on. I take the knight on d6 with my uh, with my bishop, and it has to be right. This has to be correct, because then I have two bishops here, only has one. Okay, let's just do it. All right, let's just do it. Let's be decisive. Go here, take the rook, give a check, take the queen, take the knight. Yes, and we've done it. Okay, now I'm, I'm not supposed to be bragging or anything, but uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What we did was uh, was was pretty five hit, and um, even so, we're, we're one strike from being out, and I haven't hit my.